Hello, welcome to the review of Open Heaven's daily devotional for 4th of November 2020. Our topic today is Freedom from Depression, Part 1. Freedom from Depression, Part 1. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for another beautiful time. Thank you because it's such a beautiful day to be alive. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you for your joy in our hearts. Thank you for the health in our bones. We give you all the praise in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And Father, as we learn and listen to this topic, this beautiful review this day, we ask, oh God, that if there there is any form of depression in our lives, anything causing major sadness in us, that you take it away and separate it from us permanently in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father, for answered prayers, for we've prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. A Bible text today is from 1 Peter chapter 1, from verse 1 to 9. 1 Peter chapter 1, from verse 1 to 9, I read from the New King James Version. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the pilgrims of the dispersion in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, in sanctification of the Spirit, for obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ to you and peace be multiplied. Verse 3. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that does not fade away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God through faith for salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Verse 6, in this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you have been gripped by various trials, that the genuineness of your faith, being much more precious than gold, than been much more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found in praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ, whom, having not seen perceivable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, the salvation of your souls. May the Lord bless the reading of his words in Jesus' name. Memory verses from Hebrews chapter 1 verse 9. Hebrews 1 verse 9. It says, Thou hast loved righteousness and had and hated iniquity. Therefore, God, even thy God, had anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. Hebrews 1 verse 9. Thou had loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, God, even thy God, anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our topic today, freedom from depression, actually expressly shows that depression exists. We can't say because we're children of God and we have the joy of God in our hearts, um, we don't want to agree that depression exists in the world that would just be us purely being hypocritical and when we see that you know people are depressed we need to know that they you know we have something that we can offer them that can take them out of depression and what that is actually is Christ Jesus many people out of depression you know go into how go into bad habits uh, for some people it could be that they begin to eat a lot and gain a lot of weight trying to feel better by the food that they eat but we obviously know that that doesn't take um, you know sadness but maybe at that instance of eating good food or something with a lot of sugar and all of that it could take their attention away from what exactly might be causing the pain or the sadness or the depression that they're feeling 
but we know that this feeling will truly not last. In fact, when they come to their cells and they see that they are adding weight to necessarily, or for somebody who is given to alcohol, who has made some wrong decisions or gone to some places or did embarrassing things while being under the influence of the alcohol, um, thinking back at those things might even cause them to fall deeper into depression. And I want you to encourage someone in your heart or someone in your neighborhood or someone around you today who you know is going through a sad patch or, you know, a, a, a rough moment that, you know, God is with them and that when they give their lives totally to Jesus Christ, they can get that joy that comes and totally replace every form of sadness that they might be feeling. Some people always talk about happiness, and I know quite a number of us might have heard about um, you know a difference between happiness and joy. But happiness might come from the things around us, or even from the people that are in our lives. And when the things around us or those people are taken away, we find that that the happiness is not sustainable because for every time you need a new thing or a new person to bring that feeling, so that you can be happy. But joy comes from the Lord. Joy comes from the Lord. And it is something that is not based on external uh, materials or resources or interaction with people. It is based on the presence of God and the presence of the Holy Spirit that is inside of us. Now we see from our Bible text, the verse 8 of it, that says, Whom not sin, yet ye love. That is showing that when Jesus Christ, or when you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, Lord and Savior even though you have not necessarily seen him physically with your eyes, the love that you have for him causes you know, a lot of joy to well up in your heart. It says, whom having not sinned, you love. Though now you do not see him, yet believing, you rejoice with joy inexpressible and full of glory. Because that is what happens to you when you are a child of God. When Christ comes into your heart, it replaces all the sad feelings and all of the things causing depression with his presence, with his joy, with the beauty and the joy of his own presence. And I pray that all of us will continually experience that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you're listening to me at this time or watching this video and you feel depressed in any way, I want you to search your heart and find out whether you're truly a child of God. And if not, this is a time for you to say, God, I laid down all of the things that I'm holding there right before your throne. I give it all to you. I give my life to you. You're able to make something beautiful, something joyful out of my life. I ask that you come into my heart, be my personal Lord and Savior. Take away all this depression and pain and sadness and replace it with all of yourself in the name of Jesus. If you have said that prayer genuinely, I want to welcome you to uh, the bird, into the house of God. I want to welcome you to the family of God. And I pray that as you have said that prayer genuinely in your heart, you will be given the strength and the grace to remain even in this family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Matthew chapter 7 verse 16 tells us that you shall know them by their fruit. Men will be known by the fruit and joy is one of the fruit of the spirit. If we're not saying joy in your life, we are not seeing peace and patience in your life. If we cannot actually identify joy with you, then to a certain extent, you're not bearing the fruit of someone who is genuinely a child of God. And I pray that God will help us to bear the fruit of joy consistently in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to encourage you if you're just giving your heart to Christ or you're just rededicating your life to Him, that you should maintain a close relationship with Him. In the, His presence, there is fullness of joy. So when you are in His presence, when His presence is in your life, fullness of joy is what you begin to experience. But the moment there's a separation between you and God, then it means that there's a separation between you and fullness of joy. And that, that, that is when, you know, a depression might seem to find its way into the midst of your life or the things that you're doing. And I pray that this will not be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your children who have given their lives to you today. Thank you for 
for that son, that daughter of yours who is rededicating his or life to you. I thank you for those of us that will believe that we're grounded in you and we are you know, knowing again that your presence brings joy. I ask, oh God, that depression will be far away from us in the name of Jesus. Your word says that he that the son sets free is free indeed. I declare that we are all people living in freedom from depression in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, oh God, that there will be no separation between us and you, that as there are pleasures at your right hand forevermore, our lives will be full of pleasure pleasures in the name of Jesus Christ. As there is fullness of joy in your presence, O God, our lives will be filled with the fullness of your joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because our relationship with you is renewed and our joy is renewed as well. Thank you because indeed your joy is our strength and we're strengthened even against every wile of the enemy and against anything that this current system or the earth or the the industry we might be in or the business we're running, any stress or any pain that, the, that you know, the work that we do might want to bring into our lives. Thank you, Father, Lord, for this freedom. We give you all the praise of God. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen.